All right, so a little bit about this. Um, obviously, y'all see I have got a dog bath thing. I've outlined it with, um, one thing I had because I didn't want to clean it was uh, like some parchment paper that I had. Um, on a side note, this is a piece of wood that's cut in the 20 by 20. It's on top of my spinner. Um, on top of that, here's my 20 by 20. I have double sided tape on the wood parts right here, right here, right here. Four parts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just center it up on the foil and kind of, you know, press it a little bit. And hopefully, it, yeah, so this comes off, the foil is coming off. Foil is also taped on the back side, so hopefully it does not come off. So there we go. Um, as far as stopping it, yeah, I don't have pegs yet, so it is what it is. How, if I had a bunch of paint on the canvas, like it drooping, and you know with cells, if it droops, it, um, at least it'll mess up your cells. I don't want that to happen. So I cut this uh, foam board out. I glued a couple of, like an extra square on there. And it should be a snug fit. So it really wasn't a snug fit, at least on this one that I tested it with from before. So I put it in there. I added a couple of uh, thumbtacks, you know, just here and there a little bit. That way if it dips, those will hold it. And um, I know some people they've used like, um, I don't even know, foam or not foam, but like, I can't even think of it, but see it's nice and firm. There we go. I'm still gonna get paint all over me just because of this, but there you go. And flow troll to one part paint. Just gonna do a little test real quick just to see. Basically, I'm just stirring it around, mixing it up a little bit more, just to make sure. Um, that well, looks about even. So. I don't think there was more paint on the black, but as you can tell, it is pretty even. So. You know, I did this tile first. I mean, it's broken. I was just testing the colors. Basically, I poured my colors right here and I swiped up. And, you know, I like the way it looked, this one looked. Um, you can at least, this is the dried version. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but it's dry, no, no epoxy, no nothing on it right now. It's just straight paint. But uh, 12 by 12. This is probably like one of the first ones I did. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to get to show this, the, the interference colors, along with the light over here and everything. But there you go. There's a couple pieces. You know, funny enough, not a Shelly Bloom, but I mean, honestly turned out better than I thought it would um, but I am uh, gonna put varnish on this one because it's just a level two canvas all right so just so you know I um, I wanted to try a little different format with this one I uh, wanted to go ahead and show you some of the pieces that have dried since I've done them and also try to show you a little bit of how I set up my canvas and everything like that especially for this 20 by 20 as I mentioned, this is one of those doggy bath pool things. I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, got one of those to do a bigger one. Um, and I really, the only thing I had was parchment paper. So, I mean, this was just a 
quick do over trying to get it done um so as you might have seen one of my earlier videos i did these blue coasters that i really did enjoy especially once they had a uh, epoxy on them yeah look at that i hadn't painted in a while <laughs> i'm already getting it everywhere this is terrible right but hopefully that's not a uh, warning sign um but again I really enjoyed those blue ones as you know I love the blues so I wanted a bigger one and you know what I want to go for it this is this is the biggest one I've done as 20 by 20 normally I try to keep it below a 12 by 12 so my colors that I'm using is essentially the same as those except I threw in another color just for you know wild card I guess because I had a little bit of it left over um, so the first color I used was Windsor Blue, followed by TLP, mm, I think it's Taffy, don't quote me though, then TLP Sapphire, Iridescent Blue, which was another pigment, this is uh, Persian Blue as well, and I, from here on out, you know, I'm just going to drizzle the paints, I'm trying to use up all the paints, that way I don't have anything left over, because, you know, I didn't have it painted in a while, so I had a lot of paints that just sat there and if they weren't if they didn't have enough in them they kind of dried out so I'm trying to use up all my paints um i'm still going to put in that uh i forget what it was dragonfly glaze thing uh, yeah i don't know um and this is actually just black i'm not gonna put too much black because it does go a long way um my cell activators tonight are black and white just like the coaster and you know again I'm just trying to use up all my colors so I hope everybody's been doing good um, around here <laughs> it's never a dull moment um, especially my summer hours have started at work so now I'm going to work at 6 in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon I mean, why would I need to go there at 6, especially when nobody's at a school district at 6 a.m. except for maintenance folks? But it is what it is. So, yeah. So here's the glaze I told you about that I'm putting on there. Essentially, all that is is once it dries, it dries clear, and it gives you like a purple-blue, I don't know, <laughs> iridescent-type shimmer in a way. Kind of like it has glitter in it, I guess, is a better term for it. Um, but, I mean, it really does look good, especially if you put epoxy on it. If you put epoxy on it, it really does come out. Um, so here we are. And this is going to be my cell activators. Hopefully this turns out just as good as the uh, Blue Coaster set. Um, but doing these bigger canvases you know i never know how much so activator to put down so i just put a big old puddle down it like normal try to blow it out a little bit with your mouth and then come down with the uh blow dryer and then try to spread it out almost like a dutch pour in a way um sadly <laughs> you know and dutch pours always get me and so i really don't have any pointers for this i don't think about only thing i can think of is just come down and then out down and out funny story with this after i blew it out with the hair dryer well you know with this doggy bath being like a foot and like a depth of foot you know i was too short to get down to to blow out there blow the cell activator so i had to run and get a stool just to do this part and so from here you know after you blow it out um you're gonna have some cell activator you know here and there that's gonna be a puddle or built up and you want to try to break that up, get some cells or something. Or if you want to blow out some of the paint, you want to come in as, at an angle and blow it and try to just blow it over your base. Um, I know some people, they get straws and they blow out or blow, just blow down in the cell activator. You can do that. Um, really, it's just a personal preference. And from here, you know, I'm going to spin it out. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, especially considering this is a bigger canvas and, you know, this is the biggest one I've done. I've always wanted a bigger one and just, you know, I never had the space, never had anything, you know, setup wise just wasn't working for 
anything bigger. So, uh, and also with this one, I don't think I put enough paint down to actually stretch it out over the full surface. So I'm gonna have some negative space. I'm gonna go with that. I mean, normally I don't. I don't know why, but I usually don't. Um, about the only thing that kind of stinks about the dog baths, I didn't. That one sheet that fell, no, I didn't. It was too far away, and I didn't want to move the dog bath and tape it. So hopefully that comes off just fine. From here, I'm probably gonna leave it alone. I'll bring it down for a closer look. Um, you know, the only thing that, I, I mean, I really do like it. There's only a couple things I'm more than likely going to change about it off camera is these little black cell activator, black and white cell activator that's kind of, I don't know, kind of, kind of, since it moves, the cell activator moves quicker than the rest of the paint. I'm probably going to swipe those off in some way or form or some way and just re-add just white paint and just take those off this is my favorite spot is right here and you know you can already see that some of the cell activator it, it's getting a little wonky so it has me a little concerned there but i will say this you know it, it won't do that more than likely if you're on a wooden surface or anything or something like that canvases are always hit and miss just because you know they can give a little bit um or it might be the foam board underneath it's maybe it's not flat as i thought it was um but again i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe i would appreciate that so much and yeah just showing you that so again Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.